Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragic MTG, and welcome back to me. It's been a while since I've been around. It's been pointed out that it's been well over a month since I've posted a video, and there are several reasons for this. First and foremost, I'm running out of time. My life is very busy. I actually don't have a lot of time to devote to opening packs on this channel. I'm also actually running out of packs to open. I actually finished up the series of One of Every Modern Masters and uh, searching for lottery cards. And so I'm kind of down to um, open boxes that I have left. Um, this is some of them, and these are getting harder and harder for me to want to open them because these packs are very expensive. The top cards that I might be able to pull out of these packs are worth a lot less than the remaining packs that I have left of these. But I'm going to do at least this last one here. Maybe I'll come back and do uh, more of these in the future, but. Um, the, the logic is that if I pull a Mox Diamond, it's probably just going to go into my safe. And what would be more expensive than a Mox Diamond? The remaining 18 packs of these that I have left in uh, the Stronghold pack. So that's kind of my reasoning. It's really hard to really justify that. Uh, I do have um, boxes of Dominaria United coming. I'll probably open a set box and a um, collector booster box of that. Um, and I do have some other random packs. I do have one random buy video in the works. It's actually been in the works for like a year. So it's a really old one. The prices are way out of date. That'll drop eventually when I get around to finish editing it. Editing it. And again, it's because time, my life is just super busy. Um, it's kind of hard to get around to this stuff anymore. So you can kind of take this as a little channel update, I guess you could put it. The dreaded channel update. But hey, I'm still around. I still love magic. I've actually been playing a lot on Arena. And uh, again, with the time, like I don't have the time or the talent to show off actual arena gameplay. Twist my arm down below if you really, really want to see that. It's probably not going to happen. Anyway, let me know how you feel about it down below. And also, anyway, let's get on with opening these packs before I change my mind again. Let's do it with the scanner. Here we go. Onslaught, Weatherlight, Alliances, and Stronghold. Good luck to us all. Let's see what we get. Here we go. Onslaught. Looking for some fetch lands. We're through the looking glass. We got an Elvish Warrior. Love the retro border. Everyone does. Profane Prayers. Daru Healer. Goblin Sledder. Mistform Mask. Gust Cloak Runner. Crown of Fury. Trickery Charm. Swat. That's what's funny. Dive Bomber. Here's some uncommons. Prowling Pangolin. Catapult Squad. Nameless One. I might scan that one. And we got a Dragon Wrist for four and two red. It's a enchantment. You can pay five and two red more to put a five five red dragon creature token with flying into play. That one, beautiful art. Very cool. It's probably not going to be a big one. We do have a foil. What is the foil? It is... Airborne Aid, a common draw a card for each bird in play. Hey, bird decks would want that, right? All right, Dragon Roost is 75 cents. And the Airborne Aid, pretty awesome looking foil. I kind of wish they still did this from time to time where they just foil out the border. It looks really cool. Let's see if the scanner can even see it. And then let's see what it would be as a foil. 282. So, full common worth more than the rare out of that one. Let me do the nameless one. It's not a big one. There we go. Okay. Another pack of Onslaught. So, two foils in a row would probably be a lot to ask for. Let's see what we get here. Pinpoint Avalanche. And yeah, I'm taking my time. Hey, there's a non-foil Airborne Aid. Symbiotic Elf. Fallen Cleric. Sand Skin. Charging Slate Back. Unified Strike, Goblin Sky Raider, that guy's cool, Crown of Ascension, Lonely Sandbar, Snarling Underrack, Catapult Squad, Uncommon, Thoughtbound Primok, Afeto Alchemist, this is another one I might scan, I always think this one's better than it probably is, and Insurrection, that might be worth a little bit, Afeto Alchemist is 454, Untapped Target Artifact or Creature, just keep doing that. That's that's a pretty good effect. 
Insurrection. Five and three red. Sorcery untap all creatures and gain control of them until end of turn. They gain haste until end of turn. Oh man, they need an extra combat step for this card, I think. And there are no foils behind that. Insurrection. 1329. So. You can ramp up to that, untap all creatures, and gain control of them until end of turn. Well, I guess if you want to steal all of your opponent's creatures, that's a pretty cool way to do it there. Alright, that was Onslaught. Let's get into some weather light now. And I gotta try to remember the order. So these are the uncommons on the top. One, two, three, four. That should be the rare. Flip it over. We're looking for a null rod here. One second. There we go. Harvest worm. Very cool old art on this. Zombie scavengers. And yes, we're going slowly because how often do you get to see weatherlight cards? Come on. Phantom Wings. Benelish Infantry. Briar Shield. Cinder Wall. Shadow Rider. Merfolk Traders. Ardent Militia. Blossoming Wreath. Thunderbolt. Circling Vultures, an uncommon. Timid Drake. Argivian Find. And Inner Sanctum, Reserveless card. One and two white. Has cumulative upkeep of paying two life. All damage dealt to creatures you control is reduced to zero. So you got a couple turns before you run out of life um, while that cumulative upkeep uh, ticks away, I suppose, if you can get a card that keeps you from getting counters because the uh, cumulative upkeep is a counter I believe um, but it's a little bit 298 all right next up Phyrexian Furnace is an uncommon so we'll flip that one two three four Talarian Drake Sawtooth Ogre Alms really cool art on that one Spinning Darkness Mana Chains, Guided Strike, Tendrils of Despair, Land War Sentinel, Lava Storm, Fledgling Jin, Redwood Tree Folk, here we go, Phyrexian Furnace, Familiar Ground, each creature you control cannot be blocked by more than one creature, is that an okay uncommon? Gives them basically a menace, nothing really big there, Desperate Gambit, and... Wave of Terror. I actually think this is a pretty decent card right now. For two and a black, it's an enchantment with another cumulative upkeep of one. At the end of your upkeep, bury each creature with casting cost equal to Wave of Terror's last paid cumulative upkeep. So it's a ratchet bomb every turn, basically. There we go. 216. All right, so that's a little less than I was thinking it was. Maybe it's gone up and down. There we go, Weatherlight. So on to Alliances. Um, since I've been opening this box of alliances, I, I've pulled at least two Force of Wills out of here. I think this follows the same thing. One, two, three, and a rare. I've already gotten a Lake of the Dead out of this box, so it's almost a dead draw. I don't know what much else we can get out of here, but we love the arch. Look at this Whip Vine by L.A. Williams. Foresight by Therese Nielsen. The best. Guerrilla Tactics. Voldubian War Makers. These guys in their tattoos, man, they need to step up their tattoo game. Noble Steeds. Insidious Bookworms. Stench of Decay. Findhorn Druid. So, is this the uncommon Hailstorm? Misinformation. Yavamai Ants. And the rare. Hers is Engine. For five artifact creature with trample, you pay three to give a banding, and you can also pay three to all creatures banded with Urza's engine gain trample until end of turn. It's a one five, and it says it's an uncommon. So do we miss the rare? I don't know the order here. Uncommon, 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 uncommon. So that's one of the cases where it's like a U three instead of a rare. Uh, I think there's probably Urza's engine is the thing. We're going to try the same pattern for this one with our uncommon soldier of fortune there. And hopefully that actually is a rare veteran's voice. Awesome presence. 
Astrolabe, Loom Duels High Guard, Phyrexian Boon, Wild Acer, Gorilla Chieftain, Arcane Denial. This one's a good common. I will scan that. Buck 50. Right there. Soldier of Fortune. Reprisal. Okay. Elvish Bard. And a Sworn Defender. For two and a white, you can pay one. Change Sworn Defender's power to the toughness of target creature blocking or being blocked by Sworn Defender. Minus one until end of turn. Change Sworn Defender's toughness to one plus the power of that creature until end of turn. Wow. Okay. It is a rare and it's over a buck. Score. <clears throat> okay. Stronghold is up now. Let's get into it. Yeah, these packs are uh, about 150 bucks each now at this point. Um, they were when I bought the box, they were not quite that high. So let's see if we can get lucky. One, two, three, four. I believe. Dungeon Shade. Youthful Knight. Leap. Mog Flunkies. Mulch. Torment. Change of heart. Every time you see this one, it's like, for an instant, it was a Sliver Queen. No, it's just got art of the Sliver Queen. Dream Prowler. Furnace Spirit. Provoke. Rabid Rats. Warrior and Core. Acidic Sliver. There we go. That's, I love the Slivers. It's uncommon. I will scan that one. Nothing big. Tempting listed and for the rare, it's a uh, artifact. What kind of artifact is it? It's not an artifact creature. Oh, it's a jinx ring. Uh, for two, it's an artifact. Whenever any card is put into your graveyard from play, jinx ring deals one damage to you. Sacrifice a creature, target opponent gains control of the jinx ring permanently. I'm not sure if that's a reserve list. It's a buck. It might be. All right, last chance here. Flame Wave. Is that just an uncommon? It seems like it. I, I, I thought it was a rare in the past, but it must just be an uncommon. Seething Anger. Serpent Warrior. Leap. Change of Heart again. Tidal Warrior. Spike Colony. Samite Blessing. Mog Bombers. Provoke. Flowstone Blade. Morg Thrall. The flame wave, yeah, it costs a lot to deal four damage to all the creatures. It's a big board wipe, it's really nothing big. Spike Soldier, Wall of Essence, and for the rare, the black card, the Mortuary. For three and a black, it's an enchantment. Whenever any creature is put into your graveyard from play, put that creature on top of your library. That's pretty solid. It's 650. All right, there you have it. Old school Magic the Gathering packs. Open for your pleasure. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch you when I catch you in the future.